Hi, Jerry Neiser for Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. Let's talk for a minute about fire ants. Fire ants are a problem that, uh, you know, if, you grow, if you've grown up in the South like I have, it's something you've dealt with. What a lot of people don't realize is that fire ants aren't even native to the United States. They were brought in. They were brought in in the ballast of ship holds through some of the southern states from Louisiana, Mississippi, and straight on across. They used to be that, that ships would use sand in the ballast. And the reason they did that was it made it more effective as they traveled through the sea instead of coming, you know, they would swap their cargo from cargo to sand. Anyway, that sand harvested the uh, fire ant, the red import, and that's why it's actually called the red imported fire ant. And that fire ant, of course, as we know, it, it moved across the southern United States. Some of the uh, states in the southern United States are actually USDA quarantined because of these ants. Now they're not everywhere. For instance, they're not all the way to California yet, although I've heard they've made it as far as Arizona. So they are moving across and they're moving across pretty fast. One thing they don't tolerate is cold temperatures. So you, they're not really very far north. They'll, they've, they're up in Kansas, but that's about it. The red imported fire ants are dangerous because they, they, they can actually swarm. There's many instances where they've killed the elderly and they've killed uh, young infants as well. The fire ants themselves are e actually easy to control nowadays. They just, you know, just have to pick up the phone and make the call. There's been so many, call so many products that have been on the market through the years that just didn't work. We were, we were all sold products that didn't work for years. The newer technology products actually do work. They'll last anywhere from three months to actually a year and a half, depending on what it is. One of the more common products is called Top Choice. The active ingredient is a product called Fipronil, and it, Fipronil is a product that's been, been used on pets for years now. It's uh, sold under the brand name Frontline. If you have a dog or cat, you probably know what Frontline is. It's the exact same product, and actually the, when put onto your pet, it's in a higher concentration than what's actually spread under the soil and, and the lawn. You know, fire ants reproduce very, very rapidly, and it's not like most people think. Most people think that they crawl from one property to the other, although that can happen, that's not actually the most common way. The queens can fly. So what happens is that, and one colony can have multiple queens as well. What happens is the queen will fly, already impregnated in the air with a male. The male drops dead as it all, <laughs> in the insect kingdom, as that often happens. The uh, female will land pregnant. She'll lay her eggs and uh, another colony will start. That's one of the biggest problems with top choice is it takes a couple of weeks for it to work. And so oftentimes clients think that it didn't work because of a fire ant mound to pop up. It's, it's not that it didn't work, it's that that queen laid her eggs and, it's, and, and they hatched and so that new colony was allowed to, allowed to start. Now the way the newer technology and some of these newer pesticides work is they attack a specific characteristic of a specific insect. In other words, that's why we can use Fipronil on our pets with no worries, is because it, it attacks a neuroreceptor that's not present in mammals. So, the, and, it, and it spreads more or less like a disease. Now, if you've watched some of the commercials for different fire ants products through the years, they talk about how it kills the queen or it kills the mountain or, or whatever. Most of the products throughout the years have been a contact pesticide, meaning that the workers would be out foraging and they would come into contact and it would actually just kill those worker ants. The way that Top Choice works is kind of a domino effect. The workers will come into contact with the product, they'll bring it back to the mound, to, to the colony, and then because ants are actually very, very clean, they groom themselves, they'll spread it through that whole colony. And that, that delay, that, that several week delay, was intentional. It's so that it can spread entirely through the whole mound and kill every insect. If it were immediate kill, which has been the, the common thing like acephate for, with uh, orthene and those, those types of products, it, it killed immediately. So it was impossible for it to spread through the whole colony. Until this newer technology became available, you know, it really wasn't possible to get complete control with this newer technology and top choice. Control takes a couple of weeks, but it's long lasting and you get 100% control. 
Jerry Neiser for Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. To find out more information on uh, fire ants and other lawn care problems and tips, go to our website at realgreenlawns.com. If you need help diagnosing any kind, of, any kind of a plant problem, give our office a call if you're on our service area at 45 Green. That's 454-7336. And again, you can request online at realgreenlawns.com.